Here's a dropper loop rig. This is a very simple rig to tie. It's useful for grouper, for snapper, for trigger fish, for a lot of your bottom feeding fish, as well as for mid-water column fish. Start off with a doubled over piece of your line and make a surgeon's loop knot. That's a loop, then an overhand turn to form the first overhand knot, and a second overhand turn to form the surgeon's loop knot. Again, with mono, you would want to moisten this a little bit and pull it tight. Now you've got a basic surgeon's loop knot. Of course, we would trim off the tag end here. And then about a foot up the line, do another surgeon's loop knot. The loop, one overhand turn, a second overhand turn, forming a loop that will now stand away from the main part of the line. On the higher of the two loops, run your hook, pinch the loop down pretty tight, and run the hook through the loop. Pull it fast, and now you've got the hook standing away from the line. On the bottom loop, take a bank sinker and do the same thing. Pinch your loop together, run the bank sinker through the loop, and then pull the bank sinker back through the loop you just went through and secure it. Now you've got your basic bottom dropper loop rig. This is great for snapper, for grouper, for trigger fish, for a lot of those bottom feeders that you want to get the hook down deep and stay close to the bottom. Another side benefit of the dropper loop rig is it's easy to remove the bank sinker from the bottom loop whenever you're moving from point A to point B. This prevents the bank sinker from either banging against the side of your rod or worse, hitting someone in the head. Nuts and Bolts Pro Tips have been brought to you by Carabell Charters, inshore, nearshore, and offshore fishing charters from Carabell, Florida.